Hey, I guess this is on. Um, this is the confession cam at the 24-hour opera project. Um, the confession cam, it sounds like reality TV. I keep looking for the jacuzzi, the hot tub, but um, no such luck. But I'm having a good time. It's, uh, I don't know what it is, about 1.30 or 2, and we're getting sort of frantic thinking we have just a few more hours. Thank goodness it's daylight savings time because we need that extra hour. I really like my partner, Nicole. We had never met before and just thrown together like boot camp. Um, the first 20 minutes were really scary. I didn't know what I was doing here or if we could pull it off, but um, we clicked. We were given a rubber chicken as a prop, and I think that um, just started the tone of the uh, our little 10-minute opera, and we're having fun, and um, it's great to be with some new people, and this is an adventure, and I appreciate it, and we'll see what happens. Uh, what we like at 5 o'clock in the morning may not be what we like at 7.30 tomorrow night, but we'll see, and I hope everybody is kind. 12 hours is not very long. Okay, thanks. <clears throat> okay, I am Nicole Chamberlain, and it's one. So I just made the daylight saving time backtrack, and we've got about five minutes of music written, and probably have five ports of practice. So I'm hoping it'll go a little bit faster, but I really enjoy what uh, Vinny has written, and I hope I'm just not. I hope I'm. I hope, I hope I'm doing it justice because it's actually a really fun and, and comedic uh, text, which is what I like to write. So I'm starting to get a little silly, a little tired, but I think it's going well. We're gonna finish. It's not gonna be awesome, but we're gonna finish. <laughs> it's so insane. It's ridiculous. Okay, um, I'm done. I gotta get back to work. Bye. Hello, I'm Sharon Blackwood, and I am singing a fabulous piece. The composer and the writer are brilliant, and it is wonderful. And they must have called my family to find out um, some tidbits about me because my character is a terrible cook. And I don't cook. Nobody will eat my food, and they never have. So it was Providence. And we're having a great time, and it's a great group of people. Hello, Sharon here again. We are at lunch. It's getting nerve-wracking. <laughs> I think it's the memorization that's, that's going to be tough, um, but it's great. Hello, my name is Jennifer Zoof, and I'm in I'm in group one. And um, anyway, so it's like about 1:26 right now, and we've already staged through the entire show. Um, it's it's going pretty well. Like I love my team. Um, I think we have a really um, a really good positive team, and uh, this work is really I really like the work a lot. Um, and it's just I think it's written very cleverly, you know. So, um, kind of almost, it kind of gave me a Beetlejuicy kind of feel, so it's going to be interesting to play out, but it feels good to have it all staged. It's just now a matter of memorization, and that's what these are for. I have note cards here to uh, memorize my lines and uh, my entrances. I think that's probably the hardest thing for everyone in the group right now, is like remembering certain pitches and in uh, entrances rhythmically. So um, I'm going to go do that right now. We have till 7.30, so there's literally six hours left, so counting down to the minute. So I'm going to go try to memorize these lines, and maybe I will check in again later. But it's going good, exciting, kind of nervous, but no, I, I feel good. I feel good. <sighs> so we're on lunch break. Um, we probably started in a way that, um, that other groups didn't start, whereas we did clean book work um, before we sang this morning. We spent about an hour, hour and 15 minutes just on figuring out what the story was and doing research on what uh, metaphors and allusions were being referred to in the script as to the Bible. So thank God for my iPhone. Um, 
we uh, feel that we have um, uh, a good start. I have just taken away music stands, and so we are in the beginnings of staging. I have a feeling that I really want to use um, another sound effect, and so I'd really like to use this because the other sound effects just aren't working right now, and it's making um, our Porgy and Bess meets Grapes of Wrath meets Gospel presentation um, seem a little dark, and uh, we're looking for any way to give it a little bit more theatricality. But it's gonna be cool. Yeah, wow. So this is very intense, but very, very good. I just feel like my whole, all of it is being used. So there's not like time just to go la la la. There's, it's, I get to add my ideas and, and help make the opera um, unfold. Because ours have, um, some of the music wasn't there, but so, but it was enough um, information to uh, kind of contrive what the ending was going to be. And so there was like a real huge um, um, opportunity to be creative and to use a little bit of my lyricist and composing thing in addition to the singing and a, and a lot of acting and a lot of stage directing. And it's nice and I like, I like my, I like my teammates and they're really funny and I'm really glad that I was picked. It's really fun and I, I want to do this every day. I don't want to go to work. I just want to just sit and just like create things. And so we need to have an extended, Emily, we need to have an extended sort of opera semester, 24 hour semester of opera um, life. Hmm. And, and so that, that's, that's, that's what happened with me. And I have fries and I'm happy signing off. Thank <laughs> you.